Now, I am a little bit late in doing this video. It's currently June, but to be honest, I don't use captions in a lot of my videos, but I have been trying out the captions function in Premiere Pro, and I have to say, I'm, I am impressed with how easy it is to use. Now, there was an old version of the captions that was just a bit of a nightmare. It was really clunky. That's probably what put me off using captions. But with the 2021 update, the captions function is super easy to use. And if you're making videos for YouTube or where you need captions, or if you just want to add captions to your video so people can watch your video without actually having to listen to it or aren't able to listen to it, then it's definitely a function worth trying out. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'll show you how simple and easy it is to do. So let's do it. Okay, so here we are in Premiere Pro 2021. So if you've got older versions, then you will need to upgrade to the 2021 version. On my timeline, I have this tutorial that I made a couple of weeks ago that you might have already seen where I took my GoPro out of my one wheel, link in description. So let's just say I wanted to add some captions to this video. So it's really simple. Go to this captions tab at the top, click on captions and then it'll open this box in the left hand corner. Wherever you want to start your caption from, just press plus. Okay, and you'll see this new caption box appear on your timeline. Okay, and you can also see this new caption track options. So I'm gonna put my headphones on for this because I need to hear what the video is doing so that I can add the captions myself. Now there is a text to caption function in the pipeline, it is already in beta. I haven't got it myself, but when that comes along, then obviously you won't even need to do this, so it'd be super easy. But at the moment, you do have to type the captions in, so I'll just show you what we need to do. Just literally type on your caption and type in your text. Just listen back to it again. Okay, so I've typed my text in, and as you can see, it's appeared as a caption in the bottom of the video. At the moment, this box isn't stretched out far enough, so all you do is just stretch the box out to where you want the text to end, which would be there. And then your text will be as long as what you're saying. So play it back. Okay, so that's really simple, so that's really nice. Now, say I don't want all the text to appear at the same time. So I want the first bit of text to appear in the first half of this, and then the next bit of text to come in after. If you find where you wanna split it, okay, so there would be a good place to split it. So I'm gonna click on the split caption icon, and it split this into two. And then you can just adjust each clip to what you want it to say. So for the first bit, I'm gonna go up to there. So I'll delete that, so that's the first bit. And then the next bit, I'm just going to delete the first part of the text. So we've only got the second part. Okay, and then now when we play it through, we've got the first bit of text, and then the next, uh, I've cut off the G, J there, not the end of the world, but I'll put that back in. Play it back. Really easy to do, really nice little interface here. Now, if you didn't want to split the text using the split caption tool, then what you can do is when you've written your first bit of text, you just press plus and it'll open up a new box where it says new caption and you can write your next bit of text. We are gonna get rid of that. If you decided that actually you don't want the text split, you want it back as it was, then you can just select the two bits of text Go to your merge options and it will merge it back into one. Okay, control Z to undo. If you highlight one of the captions, you've also got all these options down the right hand side. You can change the font. So let's change it to Lato, one of my favorites. Lato regular. And as you can see, it's now changed the font of the text. You can also change the alignment, anything you can do with text normally. So you can change the spacing. So you can space it out if you wanted to, and you can also make it taller. You can also choose where on the screen you want the caption to be. So at the moment it's down bottom centre, but you can have it top centre, you can have it off to the right, off to the left, 
in the actual center or anything in between basically so gives you loads of options as to where you want the actual caption to be shown you can also do a few other things with the horizontal positioning you can change the font color by clicking on your fill option as norm so we can change the text to black so we can see it a little bit better basically anything you can do with normal text you can do with your caption text let's change the fill back to white so we've got a color back to white Okay, so you can add a shadow if you want to add a shadow. And then with the shadow, you can do all the cool stuff that you would do with a with some normal text. Okay, to make it stand out, give it a bit of a drop shadow. Okay, you can also add yourself a little background. So you've got a little background for your caption so it stands out a little bit more. Okay, so you can really play around with it to make the captions your own. I suggest doing this at the start of your captions. And then when you create each new caption it'll use all the same settings that you've set up you don't have to use the same settings for each caption and each one's independent so this one you could do something totally different with it's completely up to you how you set up your captions okay but really nice simple and intuitive so I hope that's been helpful. Like I say, I know we're halfway through 2021, but I've just started using this. I found it really simple to use, so I just thought I'd share it with you guys. If you're looking for a quick way to add captions to your Premiere Pro projects, really nice new feature in 2021. And when they bring in the text to captions, it'll be even simpler to do. So I'm looking forward to that addition should be coming fairly soon apparently so that's it for this one hope you found it useful please do give it a thumbs up if you have leave me a comment below let me know if you use this function it's always great to hear from you guys i read and reply to every comment if you're not already please do consider subscribing to my channel releasing content twice a week editing tutorials audio and visual gear reviews got a free complete after effects course that i'm working my way through so it'd be great to have some new faces on board if you are already subscribed to the channel as always, appreciate you guys. Just make sure that your notifications are switched on so I can let you know when new content is released. But yeah, I hope you find this useful and I'll catch you in the next video.